What to expect from the second Metaverse Fashion Week? Find out. Hi. I'm here today to bring you the latest fashion tech news that you need to know. My name is Anina and I'm the CEO of 360 Fashion Network. Before we start, if you want to receive this news roundup regularly, then hit that like button and smash that follow as we will be bringing you this new every week to keep you in the know of the top stories we think are important. Alright, first up, a new record has been set. Decades in the making, speech implants use tiny electrode arrays inserted into the brain to measure neural activity, with the goal of transforming thoughts into text or sound. They're invaluable for people who lose their ability to speak due to paralysis, disease, or other injuries. But they're also incredibly slow. A team led by Drs. Krishna Shinoy and Jamie Henderson at Stanford University are closing that speed gap. In a test on a patient with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, the words came in succession at a rate of 62 per minute, more than three times faster than previous records. The study also tapped into the largest vocabulary library used for speech decoding using an implant at roughly 125,000 words in a first demonstration on that scale. News source, Singularity Hub, Metaverse Fashion Week is here. The all-digital series of fashion experiences on virtual real estate platform Decentraland, is returning for its second run on March 28th and 31st. Key additions to the 2023 event include physical digital bridges, support for brands, and, perhaps most notably, interoperability between virtual worlds. For the first time, Metaverse Fashion Week will enable digital collections to migrate between other digital platforms in addition to Decentraland. Designers can also appear in the spatial and over metaverses, similar to how Fashion Month spans various governing bodies, venues, and cities. Additionally, Digital twins will bring new utility. News source, Vogue Business, Nestle Purina Petcare has completed their implementation of a new 3D tech solution aimed at helping partners optimize their store shelving and reach more customers. The pet care company will now use the integrated solution which employs headsets to allow users to interact in a common space across the globe to offer their customers more personalized assortment options and seamless displays of products. Interacting through a common VR headset experience, associates can complete tasks, decide store allocations, brainstorm, look over product displays in store, and share best practices. News source, consumer goods, Amazon gives NFTs a chance. Amazon, the e-commerce giant, is reportedly launching a digital assets enterprise this spring to enter the NFT space, according to a recent report by Blockworks. Amazon's focus on the Web3 worlds seems to be growing, with exciting news as Amazon entered more than one industry in previous years. The focus of the initiative is expected to be on blockchain-based gaming that rewards players with NFTs. The company has also been looking at digital collectibles and other Web3 products such as Layer 1 products, blockchain gaming startups, and digital asset exchanges. News Source, NFT Evening NVIDIA upgraded its NeRF photogrammetry service to include new virtual reality VR content creation tools. The update allows NeRF users to create a VR environment from a series of 2D photos. The service also leverages AI to instantly create virtual scenes and fill in any gaps a user's 2D source images may have missed. According to NVIDIA, the upgraded NeRF service allows users to create a VR scene with increased time and financial efficiency. After users convert their source 2D images, they can import them as a rendered immersive environment in a real-time 3D engine. News Source, XR Today, and that's it for today. If you want to get the full top 10 fashion tech news items of the week check out our new podcast 360 Fashion or go to 360fashion.net slash podcast or search for it on your favorite podcast platform. Don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss our latest episode.